again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of RV Business Capital Talk, sponsored by Eric Sell. I'm Rick Kessler. With me, Sherman Goldenberg. And joining the two of us today, we have Mary Hineen and Stephen Heilman. They are from Road Pass. Mary is the CEO, and Stephen is the Vice President of Business Development. Thank you, guys, for joining us. This is going to be great. Thanks for having us. So it's Road Pass. What's Road Pass? <laughs> RoadPass is the most amazing set of apps that help you plan the perfect road trip. Wow. So under the Road RoadPass umbrella, you have the brand's Road Trippers, you have Compendium, you have Overnight RV Parking, you have Our Village, and Togo RV. Um, those are what are under the umbrella of RoadPass Digital that helps anyone that's taking a road trip, whether in a car or an RV, plan the perfect itinerary and road trip. Wow, that's 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 a lot that's going on right there in just a few sentences. <laughs> sure is. So Road Trippers has uh, been in the news lately, and, and this is really kind of fascinating, but it's, it's Road Trippers Autopilot. Um, please, please uh, explain what that means to us. Sure. Um, over the last few months, um, since joining the company in June of this past year, um, what we've tried to do is um, flip the company and, and really look at road trip planning from a customer point of view and become a customer-centric organization, making road trip planning easy for anyone um, within a few clicks of a, a few buttons. And what we've done is a couple of things that led us to um, Road Trippers Autopilot. First thing that we did was we brought all of those apps together that I mentioned that are under the Road Pass Digital umbrella. Um, so now you'll find Compendium within Road Trippers. You'll find Togo RV within Road Trippers. You'll find Our Village within Road Trippers. You'll find Overnight Parking within Road Trippers. What we set out to do was make it so that the consumer could plan the perfect road trip with all of those benefits and features from those other apps all in one place. So that was the first step to a customer-centric trip planning experience. The second step was, how do we take a road trip planning um, scenario within the software from being you know, 15 to 30 minutes of planning um, all in a very manual way and actually create a automated way of road trip planning. So that's where Road Trippers Autopilot comes into play. Okay. It's not just um, quick road trip planning. It's also in the background, because we've been around nearly 10 years as an organization, we have one of the most powerful databases in the industry as it relates to road trip planning for both people that you know take road trips with a car or with an RV. So that Road Trippers Autopilot is powered by those 38 million trips that were planned by real customers. It's real data. Well, everyone's always talking about AI these days. <laughs> um, AI you know, is only as powerful as the data that's powered behind it. And that proprietary data that we have combined with asking you know a consumer about you know their personal preferences about taking a road trip creates one of the most powerful experiences within seconds um, a consumer can now get the perfect road trip whether you need RV routing RV navigation RV GPS for the you know the RVer in the world or if those are things that you know are not necessary because you're traveling by car so now, you know, we've got this customized ability to build the perfect road trip so that when you go take your itinerary and you plug it into your Apple CarPlay um, within your vehicle, you know, whether it's your towing vehicle or your actual RV, it, it starts to take you on your journey right away um, in probably one of the most in my opinion, innovative ways that I've seen in this 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 industry. How does the world get to know about your company or your services? I mean, is is it available? How? 
It is the number one road trip planning service. So if you Google today road trip or um, plan my road trip or RV road trip, the first thing that comes up is road trippers. That's the primary reason why we made sure that if we were going to build a super app, that it was in the place that made most sense. So our consumers find us through Google. They find us through word of mouth. And quite frankly, we've been a lot around the longest as it relates to road trip planning that we appear you know, at the top of the list when, when you go to seek out how to plan the perfect road trip. Stephen, I wanted to uh, bring you into the conversation. If you could give us a nice overview of Campendium and maybe even if you've got some trends, uh, maybe booking activity that you could share. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, thanks for having us. I think the uh, the great thing about Campendium is that, it, you know, even though we've now made Campendium features available in the Road Trippers app, Campendium still exists. It's a great website and a great resource for reviews and photos and campground discovery. We also just recently launched a, a partnership with Spot Tonight to help increase the volume of bookable properties, both in Campendium, but also still in Road Trippers. Um, so that partnership has really allowed us um, to uh, sort of increase the, the rate at which we make um, new campgrounds bookable uh, in Campendium. So Campendium still is popular as ever, uh, um, but now um, it's, you know, as being fully integrated with road trippers, it's just much easier to use and use it as a starting point to to plan a trip um, and plan a trip that includes campgrounds that you can actually book. So would it be a, a, a correct uh, to say that 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 road pass or road trippers uh, helps fuel the recreation vehicle industry uh, on the consumer side? I, that's an absolutely fair assessment. We would we would love for you to to say that for us. I think <laughs> at, at the at the end of the day, you know, road trippers and all of the tools and features within are entirely designed to inspire more travel. Whether you're using a car or an RV, make it easier to to plan those trips, less stressful. Mary Mary talked about how much easier it is to plan with autopilot. At the end of the day, we all know that. There's lots of friction around the RV industry and the customer and learning how to use the vehicle. And every time they get it out, even if they've owned it for three years, you get it out from that winter season and you kind of have to do a mental check of like, wait a second, like, do I remember how to do all these things in the vehicle? Do I remember where I want to go? Like, I got to plan this season's trips. Uh, our goal is to make that as frictionless as possible. And that's a really good synergy with the same types of, uh, goals that the rest of the RV industry has around getting more people camping and using a vehicle that they love. Because I mean, to Stephen's oh, point, oh, sorry. Ahead, sorry. Um, what we found in our research is people stay within the RV lifestyle the more trips they take with their RV. And one of the largest um, obstacles to overcome at, that we found is planning a road trip. It's, it's really daunting, especially in the RV sector is how do I make sure that, you know, I'm planning the right, you know, path within the freeways. So, you know, there are certain, you know, overpasses that you cannot go under based off of the, the height of your RV, the, the length of your RV. Our software helps overcome all that anxiety associated with a new RVer or even, you know, a seasoned RVer and taking more trips with their RV because it's easier. We do the heavy lifting for them. So the more that we can get people to use their RVs, the more that people will stay within the RV lifestyle and continue buying RVs and upgrading RVs because we can help with that, that, that difficult process of taking a road trip. Stephen, I know you've been around since the inception. Uh, Mary, I think you're coming up on uh, just over a year in your position. In June, yes, it'll yeah, be. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I remember Stephen. I think it might have been RVX when uh, I think that was the first. I don't know yeah. public public showcase. Amazing. Uh, in, indeed, uh, if anyone actually remembers uh, that 
that RVX show. Uh, it was it was a while ago, but but yeah, 2018 was, uh, was when I started here. It was also the inception of of the Road Pass as we know it today, is this collection of different apps, and um, Thor played an important part in getting that started. And now it's it's great to have them as an investor, but to have our own sort of legs to to run in the direction that's right for the customer um, is um, is really inspiring but it also lets this business grow um and um, lets us do more for for the RVer and the, the road tripper in general and mary in your almost one year tenure uh probably the most amount of change in the company's history I, i'm just assuming anyway yeah we've been doing a lot um this team has has really hustled over the last few months to really make the experience within the product superior, as well as create an easy solution for the customer. I, I can't tell you how proud I am of this team. Um, while there's been a ton of you know, improvements and a lot of work that's gone into this, it has been really quite a seamless experience. And to build something like Road Trippers Autopilot has just been yeah probably one of the biggest milestones within this this company and we are incredibly proud of the product that product will continue to you know evolve um, and continue to become even more tech forward um, this is just the beginning of a lot more to come um, where road trippers will become the easiest way to plan a road trip um, and create benefits throughout the entire year for someone that you know, is one of our members. So we will always be thriving to make sure that the customer continues to benefit from um, the software as well as from the benefits associated with with the software planning tools. Does in what ways, uh, if at all, do, does road trippers intersect with uh, recreation vehicle dealerships? I'll let Stephen take that one. <laughs> Yeah, I think today we're actually working closely with a number of dealer groups um, and individual dealers uh, around getting their vehicle buyers, their RV buyers, to use road trippers right out of the gate. Um, you know, we talked about it a, a minute ago, just the more inspiration you can hand that customer, the more resources you can hand them at the moment of purchase, the easier it is for them to get out and take their first trip. Um, more likely they are to stick around and, and have a good positive experience with their RV. So uh, um, we work with dealers to to embed the Road Trippers product in their their purchase and, and customer life cycle, um, customer experience uh, with that dealership. And that's been, uh, we've developed some really good partnerships and have some some even bigger announcements with, with uh, certain dealers over the course of the summer. But um, it's an exciting time to see dealers really engage with with uh, that customer experience and and recognize how valuable it is and and reach out to us to try to help them with that. I think uh, uh, just you know personally speaking alone, just having that low clearance function as part of as part of uh, road trippers. I mean that right there. I'm RVer's been asking for something like that forever. I mean, you can only use the, the truck atlas for so long before. <laughs> so, so I'm sure that that in and of itself is is worth worth the the price of admission. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's all seamless. That's the best part. So when when your itinerary is planned for you through autopilot, yeah, it it's all mapped out there for you. Um, and you know, the, the best thing I think about autopilot is that it's it's perfectly planned for that particular person. But if they want to modify and customize further, it's so easy to do. It's, you know, toggles here and there, add this, take this off. Like it's, they're all toggles where within, you know, a few additional seconds, you can customize it further. You can make your trip longer. You can add more stops to your trip and it, it's all mapped out for you. And then you just take that and you plug it in with, with your Apple CarPlay and it takes you on your mm. road trip. It's Perfect. it's from planning to executing. 
and it's that seamless. It, you know, it's really exciting to be able to do that for consumers, especially RVers, that it's really been tough um, for RVers yeah. to find a place to execute a trip with all of those features incorporated into one yeah. place, one app, so that they don't have to go to multiple places. I think, uh, Sherman, we can't let them go without asking the the very traditional journalistic question is, tell us what you guys are working on. What's coming up next? Stephen, you mentioned some perhaps announcements with some dealer groups. Um, Mary, you teased a little bit about maybe some more functions coming. Spill the beans, please. Oh, if we could. <laughs> it's a very competitive space, as you know. Yeah. Um, I had to ask. I know you had to ask, but some secrets are too good <laughs> that we have to keep them um, so that you, you're wanting for more. And let me tell you what we've got on when, our road trip. Road when, in ter when in terms of a timeline should people be checking in then? I would say within the next couple of months, we're moving pretty fast. As as you as yeah. you pointed out, we've done a lot of changing over the last nine months and yeah. really improved and expanded this product. So I would expect it in the next couple of months. How about I say that we'll give you the first sneak pre preview? How We're about there. that? Yep. Thank you. That's terrific. I can't okay. think of a better way to end the conversation than that. <laughs> All right, Mary, man. Stephen, thank you again for your time. Always good to check in. Um, road trippers, people, look it up. It's good stuff. We really appreciate your time today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.